A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Wa tiya Allah wa tiya Rasulullah ulil amri minkum, always a reminder for myself, Ana abdika lajisa da'ifu miskeen wa zalim wa jahan. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah in the holy month of Rajab and SubhanAllah man huwa khaliq nur that we ask Allah to dress us from Divinely light and Divinely blessings and that we see such calamity and to take a, an advice from what we see in life that the signs of Allah are everywhere. So at every angle and at so many different dimensions Allah is, is, is sending the isharats and guidance and warnings and signs and one that people can notice with their physical eyes and that we briefly talked and as a reminder in our lives that the structures that come down like paper and this is a, a fault in how people build. That when a people based on corruption and lacking of a sincerity within their actions and this is the entire dunya it's not a a sign of only one race of people but what we see in life when we look and the signs of East versus West and the realities of, of Prophet describing the sun would rise from the West and the sun has a physical sun and the spiritual sun which are Ishraqiyoon and the Shams al-Arafeen, Shams al-Islam Shams al Marifa and all the realities that would rise from the West and the opening as the sun rises there's a horizon that as this horizon is opening means its realities begin to show. And Maghrib in which the sun is setting means the character of Islam is setting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nur John. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan, there's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. So these are important. When we look at these events and we see that the character of Islam and its realities are not there, that the people of sincerity, the people of, of honesty and integrity that build structures by paying people to cheat, to not care about engineering reports, not care about supplies but because the West and East and the shifting of the polarity is that the East is intoxicated with money and the pursuit of money. And as a result at the sacrifice of its own people they build structures that come down like paper. And no matter what type of earthquake things are going to come down but the astounding opinion of even outside engineers that review these and look at the footage 
They don't understand how faces of buildings peel off like paper and that entire structures, the base is so weak that it just collapsed like it's a, a demolition or a pre-charged destruction of a building. And then you look to the Western understanding in which the Western philosophy like a, a sprouting because as soon as you say many people say, what are you talking about the West and all the crazy things that people in the West do? But when the sun rises it's slow, it's not that it's risen and this is now the world of Islam but the rising and the character in which Prophet wanted for his nation is now visible in the West. Not the violence, not the craziness but these characteristics in which you're going to build something that houses people. You have to have an integrity, you have to have a, a discipline in which you build something knowing that people's lives will be living there and that you engineer and structure and build everything and that you have a government that makes codes and you have people that obey abide by the codes and you have a system in which corruption is frowned upon. So imagine like in a Western country and those living in the West that you go to an engineering department or city planning part and say, here's some money and, and don't look at these plans and we're going to build this crooked, we're going to take these elements out and uh, we're going to build structures that are going to collapse. No, they don't have that at all. If you even hint on trying to bribe a city official you'll be in jail and your project will be shut down. This is the character of Islam. So people have to be able to find when we're talking about the sun is rising, within you will find the pearls of that character. Not all of it because the sun is still rising, as it rises it's cleaning and 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 rejuvenating the hearts of, of this region in which they, they take their laws serious, they take the abiding of its laws serious, they take the concerns of their people in this issue, in this matter to be serious. And the sadness to look into the Eastern world and Muslim world and I'm sure many other nations and Eastern countries in India and Russia, wherever they are in the East and all the religions that they follow, all of them bribe everybody and they build things that tumble like crackers, like paper. You see they build a building and immediately starts to twist to the side and fall down and that's the sadness and that's the a reality and a deep reality in which people focus on their form. And they focus on, uh, it's only salah, everybody's salah, everybody like this, everybody like that. And they're busy making people's forms looking right. Just like a building that looks beautiful from the outside. You look and those buildings were all modern buildings before this zanzana, you would look and say, these are beautiful buildings they're building. And that's the same experience in life. That if, if a religion, a people, a tariqah, a, a, a path only builds people that are from the outside beautiful, that they look, wow, look like uh, strong believers but inside is not according to code, inside is not according to khushya and softness in the heart. Means inside is not according to the way that Allah wants. Not the, the dogma and the anger of sharia but the reality of sharia in which what you practice and what you teach and what you inspire within students should build a, revna, a reverence, a love for Allah a fear of Allah in which builds a softness and love within your heart. You know the fear that awliya have of Allah is to disappoint Allah and the disappointing of Sayyidina Muhammad 
And as a result of this khuluq and this character they try their best to not disappoint and to do the best that they can so that Allah and His beloved Sayyidina Muhammad to be happy. Not by tongue, by action. Because you know these are areas you go and everyone says, MashaAllah, everybody says everything but they have weird characteristics. You know always doing some sort of weird hanky pain. people have travelled in these areas they're doing all sorts of weird things but saying, MashaAllah Allah and everything is like a culture, it's just the way in which you operate. But in your heart you have to have a khushya that you don't cheat, you don't steal, you know you don't do, try to rip people off. You don't act mean, you don't act harsh. All of the zahir and exterior is like a building and if Allah shake it and test it, it just collapse like paper. And you know because I don't know if it's coming clear to people, this analogy that's trying to come through is because you look at the building you say, how the heck did this thing collapse? It wasn't built solid. And people are the same way, that something that looks solid to you, look like he's a Muslim to you, look like he's a representative of Islam to you, a little bit of shaking and they don't seem to be acting according to Islam. They don't have the kindness of Sayyidina Muhammad they don't have honour and integrity of Sayyidina Muhammad they don't look at things that they're not supposed to look at, they don't act with an acting and a character that they're not supposed to be acting like. All of a sudden they become angry, belligerent, bad words, bad cursing. And Allah is giving us for an example that it's not only that you look like a beautiful building all put together but each of your floors, everything within you has to be put together. For if Allah shakes you what comes out? If you tumbled and crumbled and vanished as if you weren't even there, then what was the purpose? And that's why Allah describes we come to their actions and we throw them because it become like a false building, you know, bribed its way through everything. It was a, it was a cultural practice. Everything inshaAllah, mashaAllah everything and spoken right and, and according to what's supposed to be right. But inside no khushya, inside no tarbiya, inside the heart no good character and reverence and humility. All the things that are developed by tafakkur and contemplation. If a people only focus and think that their whole life is just their salah and it's only the exterior salah in which everybody show up, everybody pray, everybody come, everybody go. You didn't do any of the hard work. The hard work is the good character. The hard work is to keep getting tested by a shaykh, getting squeezed by the shaykh, getting squeezed by the tariqah, interacting by, by people. And that Allah see that your khuluq and your character is according to the way of Sayyidina Muhammad Honour, have nobility, don't come for false pretense. Don't come thinking everybody else doesn't know what you're coming for, you're coming for Allah that's it. You come and develop your character and softness and, and the best of, of character in which people test you and you come out sweet. You people agitate you, you come out sweet and polite. Everything about the character means that Allah shake you and you're like a mountain, it doesn't change. Not like a paper tiger, shake and everything falls and that everyone around you is like a paper tiger. That all sort of bizarre characteristics, well, what kind of teaching is that? What kind of buildings are you building? What kind of structures are you putting up? And that's what's important. No matter Dajjal did, Allah did, whoever does what they do, there's a sign in what's left behind. And all the world will face that now, Allah's going to test everyone to see what they're made of. 
that that's the, the true test in life and those whom their life was in testing, continuous turmoil, continuous difficulty. Not the outside people say, oh it was like all, all this craziness so now you should be running away. No, life was supposed to be testing. You were supposed to go through all these difficulties in life, all the craziness in life, all of the calamities in life and it built your character because you're like a solid mountain, not like a paper building. The, the Dajjal sent this thing and everything, everything collapsed. Even I'm sure the people whom are behind this look at it and say, wow we didn't understand that it was going to collapse like that because they didn't understand the inner structure of people corrupt. A country in which is, is un-Islamic to take a bribe but this is the effect of when you pay people to circumvent the laws and the rules that safeguard humanity and the souls that live within these buildings and the corruption then brought everything down and you see all that's left. But for those whom are still standing, then Allah gives to us an example, take the character and the khuluq of Sayyidina Muhammad Be kind to your brothers, especially your brothers in faith that have the best of manners, don't talk bad about somebody, don't, don't spread gossips and rumors and conspiracies and teach your jama'ah and teach the people whom are around you to have good character. For if Allah should shake you, don't be like a paper building in which you cease to exist. Means one shake and this is such an important understanding is that the buildings no longer exist and Allah is giving to us an insharat that, if I should shake you will you cease to exist? All that you've built up and all the, 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 the image that you think you have of yourself if I shake you and you cease to exist then what was it all for? You vanished, you ran, you, you disappeared, you, you took your identity off and went and hid into the, the, the streets. Your life was a waste of time. So then there's many examples to take from life when we see it. That everyone should look and say, Ya Rabbi don't make my life and my faith like these buildings. We're all going to face a shaking but let me to be firm and stand firm that when shaken by people and by issues and by interactions that people go away thinking of the character of Prophet kind, respectful, loving, trying to help, being compassionate, being humble and humbling oneself. Not using big titles and, and making everyone around you to use big titles and then they feel that they're enabled by these titles and they feel that they're a part of something super huge and super supernatural but the way of humility. The ones whom are most powerful are the ones whom take a path towards humility and wish to want to serve people. That means these are all the, the characteristics that Allah gave to Sayyidina Muhammad and then these are to be departed and imparted upon those whom follow the way. And that they take an example from everything, from an earthquake where hundreds of thousands are going to be in difficulty or passed away. That there's an example for ourselves right now to look at it, Ya Rabbi don't let me to crumble like a paper that just doesn't exist anymore. Everyone will be crushed, it's the character that counts in the end. We pray that Allah give us good character and that when we're tested with our interactions with people and our people come across many people because we're asking them to post. So if you don't know what I'm talking about you should you're probably not doing any khidmat. Means that take our videos and post them into every group and every forum and every page you can and you'll understand by tomorrow exactly what I'm talking about. Why these people have bad manners? Why do they say such horrible things? Why do they have such sort of distorted understandings? And then it's an example, oh, they're like those buildings that are going to come down because if your character is like that, you're no better than a paper building that been put up by false engineers. But what we want 
is like an evergreen tree that's solid and then it's green means that it's always serving the purpose, it's green, it's always alive. But the evergreen what makes it to be strong and to weather difficulties Kutubun awtadan wa jibalan awtadan means like the concept of the mountain that are awtad which is a category of awliya but are is a word for the peg, is a peg, the mountains are pegs and the evergreen trees are like pegs on this earth. Why? Because the root go very deep. That in their training their roots and their connection and their spiritual connection is extremely deep and it's not a flower on a rock that came to an event, jumped in with the group, start following, start thinking they're this and that and, and they only have the outer. But they've been trained with tafakkur, trained with muraqabah, trained with all of these practices. They put their practice and their faith in action. They go out and give charity, actively do something, be of service, do a khidmat and as a result your roots go very deep. And the deeper the root means their souls are connecting with very powerful souls. As their soul is connecting, this is the concept and the analogy of being rooted. When your soul is connected, your form is like a rock, nothing going to move it because that which holds you is your soul connection to these world of light and to these realities. But when your soul has no connection, you're like a flower on a rock. The wind come and blow it. And Allah tells us, don't be like that where the first rain comes and you washed away. We pray that Allah give us an understanding from everything that we see, give a relief to those people whom are under immense suffering, suffering from an I- immense disaster and suffering from people whom had no sincerity and as a result of taking and cutting and cutting edges and cutting fees, they built things like paper that collapsed upon everyone's heads. And is an ajar and an example for ourselves that don't make your faith like that where it's just fake and that you don't have good character, you don't have good practices and that you're not rooted with your soul in a soul connection in which your, your Islam goes deep into your reality and that it's connected to awliyaullah, it's connected to the love and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and as a result has istiqam and firmness and that it holds your form in place because the roots of you go down deep. That which not rooted it blows in the wind like dust in the wind they have an example, you become like dust in the wind just phew, it's gone. And then when you look back it like it never even existed, Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzat Amma Yasifun <coughs> Wa Salaamun Al Mursaleen Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa Hurmati Muhammad Al Mustafa Wa Basiri Surat Al Fatiha As Salaamu Alaykum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.